Okay, so a minute before going live, <laughs> recording is on. Whenever you're ready, John. Stream is on, John. All right. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to Thursday. Um, today, we're going to go over um, tomorrow's artist, which is uh, Sanjay Desai. Uh, Sanjay is from Pune, India. Um, he's a marvelous artist. And we'll go over his colors. And I brought a bunch of other colors that we can try out as well. Um, I am going to try to show you one of the um, pieces of the Daniel Smith uh, website that's been asked about. So I'm going to try sharing a screen that might turn out really well. That may mean I, I get logged off, um, but I'm going to try it. And then I did have something. I want to log on to um, YouTube as well. There we go. Okay, so on uh, Zoom, you can ask me questions directly, and on YouTube, I will read your questions. Welcome to um, all of you. Hello, Carol from Australia. All right, so um, I was asked a question on the customer service line of Daniel Smith. I thought it'd be interesting for all of you that want to participate. And um, if you answer this question, I can put it on, let me copy it. I'm going to put it on so I can share it with all of you. Um, let me see if I can do that. Okay, I'm going to share it on Facebook now. So there it is on Facebook. And I'm going to go over to um, Zoom. And there it is on Zoom. OK. So if you were on a deserted, it says desert island, but a deserted island, and you only had six tubes of paint, and it could be any color of paint, any brand of paint you want, but only six tubes, which six tubes would you choose? The next question is, you can have as much paper as you want, but it has to either be rough or smooth. Next is, you can choose up to three brushes. What would you choose? Natural, synthetic, and what size and what shape? And then the last is, you can listen to any music you want. Which CD, album, or stream would you listen to for inspiration? These are the same questions we ask all the artists on Friday, and I thought I would ask you, so you can all participate. And if you could respond back to the, the question I posed on Facebook or on Zoom, what I will do is I will pick those out, and I'll pick a lot of the six tube colors, and we can, we can play with them. Also, if you'd want to do an artwork with those six colors and the brush and the song, and go ahead and post them, we can look at them next week. Hello, Rick. All right. Hello, Bill from Shelton. Hello, Mark. Oh my gosh, Mark, Mark says he has 14 inches of snow. Wow, that is, that's unbelievable. Can you all hear me in Zoom? Yes. Okay, excellent. So I'm gonna put this down and we'll look at Sanjay's colors. Oh, Didi's from New Orleans. All right, New Orleans, New Orleans. Where is the 14 inches of snow? That's in Nova Scotia in Canada. East uh -huh. Coast. Thank you. Nova Scotia is a cool place. Have you been, John? 
I have. I've been to every province of Canada. Um, it's it's uh, one of my favorite places in the world to fish. Yeah, very nice for that. Yeah. So Sanjay is using Alizarin Crimson. The next one I have is his uh, Cadmium Orange U. Then Cad Yellow. Carmen, have you ever, have any of you ever been to Pune in India? It's kind of an interesting, interesting place. Where is it in India? Uh, yeah. um, oh, I, I'd have to look because you know on an airplane you don't kind of do that. Um, I know where Pune is. It's about south of um, uh, no, a bit to the east of Mumbai, and Mumbai is south of India, center south. Wikipedia says it's in the western Indian state of Maharashtra. Yeah. Maharashtra. <laughs> That's the worst where the COVID was worse. So Anne from Grand Rapids, Michigan, Anika from Sweden, welcome. John, how did you meet Sanjay? Um, so we have a distributor in uh, India, Tarun, and we went to an uh, artist art show that was being um, conducted. It was on a small farm. And then from there, we went to uh, visit Sanjay um, in, in Pune. Um, and then on to, uh, we did, um, Probably four or five places in India on that trip it was it was it was awesome. Great hosts. Okay, so I'm going to start with a lizard crimson. This is a lizard crimson, not a lizard crimson permanent. So a lizard crimson. I did bring the permanent in case you wanted to see that as well. So this is just the lizard crimson. So Elysian Crimson is a coal tar derivative and it is it's fugitive. It's one of the two fugitive colors that we have, opera pink and Elysian Crimson. Uh, I get asked a lot, you know, why do you, why do you have a fugitive color? And um, it's used a lot in the universities, the masters used it. So a lot of uh, instructors who are very knowledgeable want their, their students to also use the Elizabeth Crimson. Um, if you didn't want to use the Elizabeth Crimson, there is an Elizabeth Crimson permanent. The next is CAD Orange U, H-U-E. John, we, we've got answers, um, some answers in Facebook to our questions. Okay. I'm wondering why somebody would choose a lizard crimson over the more permanent versions. You know, it's just it's just kind of one of those uh, choices. Um, if you want to paint like the masters, the masters used a lizard crimson, and so that's that's the color you would pick. And knowing it's fugitive, you might choose to still go with that, especially if it's your own artwork, or you might choose to use the permanent. Um, Is there a difference between well no here? So Let me 
So alizarin crimson, alizarin crimson permanent. Alizarin crimson, alizarin crimson permanent. So the next color is CAD U. This is yellow, but this is yellow deep. Yeah, yellow deep. CAD U yellow deep. So Malin Malik is also a brand ambassador, Malin Malik is also from Pune. And so uh, we had Molin probably two months ago, three months ago. This is Carmen. Carmen. Kind of interesting, the uh, lizard crimson and then the carmine. Lizard crimson. That color is really great to mix with uh, phthalo green. Is it? Yeah. Do you have phthalo green and the, and, and the uh, carmine there with you? I don't. Giovanni, do you? Yes, he does. Can you mix the two of them and show? So this is the cobalt blue. It's really hard to choose. It's hard to choose six colors. Um, absolutely. But I think it's fun. When the uh, Brian ambassadors have a set and um, it's either six or 10, it's very, very difficult for them to pick six. I mean, very, very, very difficult. It's difficult to pick 18, let alone six. So the next one is gonna be cobalt turquoise. This is cobalt blue, cobalt blue. And this will be cobalt turquoise. So here in Washington State, we normally get snow, kind of over my 33 years, um, in November or in February. And it's very interesting to have a November that is 47 degrees, and you can actually, for us anyway, you can actually wear, you know, a t-shirt outside. It's, it's just very strange. So this is cobalt turquoise. Cobalt turquoise. And then I'll do any mixes that you want to see. This is going to be Indian yellow. I also brought out Indian red. Cool. So very bright, a very bright palette. John, could you repeat that yellow, please? Yes, this is uh, India yellow, Indian yellow. Thank you. You're welcome. And this last one is going to be 
French poker. Uh, sorry, John, the mix with the cobalt blue and which red? Which red? Let's see. Giovanni, eh, el, el, um, Carmine. El, no, el Carmin, Carmin e, e, uh, Italo, Italo green, Italo green, yes. Oh. Hello, Besnick. That's a nice hat, Mark. I didn't see that. Hello, yeah, the last one is this is French ochre. So, alizarin crimson. This is CAD orange. This right here is the CAD yellow deep. This is the permanent illusion crimson. Now it's kind of drawing out a little bit. This is the mess myself up. This is the yellow. This is the carmine. This is the cobalt blue, cobalt, cobalt turquoise. This is the Indian yellow. And this is the um, French ochre, French ochre. Are there any of those that like to see mixed together? It's a very happy, it's a very happy palette. Any of those like to see mixed? Which paper is being used? So this is the Stonehenge 140 pound cold press. Can we see it? Can we see the uh, cobalt blue mixed with the cadmium orange? Or cobalt turquoise mixed with the cat orange? And then I'll run the And could you spray it, John? Absolutely. Thank you. It has a really nice glow to it. This is the mix. Can you spotlight the mix, Apple? Oh, that's very nice. Very nice. Thank you, Giovanni. Are there any other mixes that you'd like to see? Uh, mix cobalt turquoise with Indian yellow. Okay, cobalt turquoise and Indian yellow. John. Yes. You, it's this is Barbara. Do you have a um, dark yellow um, cadmium? Maybe it's like maybe the third one. It looks very pink on my screen. Can you mix it with um, uh, one of the reds? Absolutely. So this one's going to be cobalt. Cobalt. I will do that. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. 
You're welcome. Cobalt turquoise, and this is going to be what Barbara's talking about, which is the medium yellow. That's what the is looking for. Medium yellow. Oh, pretty. The cobalt turquoise looks a little transparent. It's got really nice granulation. And then you put the yellow with it, really is pretty. Thank you. And then Barbara, do you want a yellow and a red? Yeah, but that cobalt dark, because it looks on the painting, it looked on my screen very red. Yeah, it's kind of interesting that when I look at the two screens, the Zoom and the YouTube, even when the... Um, Facebook. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's, it seems to be better in my eyes when I look at the, the, uh, the Facebook version. Um, and maybe that's because they allow more pixelation or something. Mm. So we have Indian yellow and any any red you have in mind? Mm. Well, how about a perlin red? Oh, perlin! I love perlin. The perlin colors, sure. That's kind of hello, I'm here. I mean, it's kind of like the fire. Mm -hmm. So there is the, there's the Indian yellow. The mixing for Anna. There's the pearly red. It looks like it's a warm red, right? Oh, nice. <laughs> Giovanni is going to town. I mixed that one this morning, Gio, and uh, this is it. This is it, dry. It's actually a pretty. It's a. It's a. It's a reasonably bright yellow. Yes, sure is. I think it's transparent, Indian yellow. Nice, nice orange at the bottom. So Indian yellow is transparent. It's non-granulating, it's low staining. Um, it's aerolide yellow and nickel azo yellow together. Ah, okay. Thank you. My pleasure. Hello, Raffaele. So, Anna Marie, lapis lazuli, cerulean blue, burnt sienna, yellow ochre, hands of yellow, light cadmium, red. So, put these back here in a second, and we'll do the air as they start to dry. 
very bright, very bright selection of colors. That'd be interesting to hear about those. Hello, Claudia. Now these some of the colors I like a lot. Bridge Ultramarine. And Ivory Black. Yellow. Paraline Violet. Very popular one. I'm not going to burnt orange. John, did you pick a theme for your Christmas tree? I didn't put up a Christmas tree this year. My house is still, um, it's been difficult getting contractors and half my house has um, holes in it from uh, drywall. But next year. How about you? Did you pick a theme? We we got a tree from Costco and it's uh it's quite interesting. You just pay when you're buying your groceries and then you drive up to the back and then they hand you a tree. It's quite different. And then you have to tie it on the top of your car yourself. Is it a real tree? It's a real tree. Oh, that's awesome. But you know, like you normally go pick out a tree and they're all sitting out and you can turn them around and look at them. Yeah? No, they just come in a big giant sock. Oh my gosh. Is that because of COVID? Uh, possibly. I think it's because their margins are very, very low and they want to sell a lot of them quickly <laughs> while they're still fresh. <laughs> Well, they smell good when they're fresh. They do smell really good. I didn't put one up this year. Last year, we were, it was, you know, my house, we we're in the woods. And I just walked out to the backyard and cut down a little tree. <laughs> and then it looked a little sparse, so I cut down another one. And they just constantly growing, you know. So I had my own little Christmas tree farm last year. But this year, I just didn't do it because we're leaving soon. Did you say Tenberry when you came down? 
How big of a tree was it? What? How big of a tree did you cut down? Oh, it was a really huge one, Gabriel. It was like five feet. <laughs> <laughs> It started out with my husband. I said, I want to put some, some branches on the front and let me do it. So my husband goes and he finds the most beautiful tree and he starts cutting branches off. And I'm going like, no, 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 no. <laughs> but anyway, it, was, it worked out really well. So John, I'm sorry, what is that second color? This is French ultramarine. This is ivory black. This right here is Naples yellow, and this is Perylene violet. Oh, that's a beauty. Yeah, I really like those Perylenes. Me too, green is one of my most favorite colors, the Perylene green. I also read somewhere that he uses lunar black too. Oh, I bet. On the website. Oh, cool. I'll let you guess which one this is. Burn orange. <laughs> when it's a beauty. It's really, it's really a beauty. It's burnt orange, yeah. And it comes in a stick. Yeah. How about this one? Raw umber. Yeah, raw umber. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Raw umber. Do you have the greenish uh, raw umber with you uh, today? Could you maybe I, I show us I, the difference? I, I don't think I pulled that one out. Um, okay. We had it a few weeks ago and I bought it at that point. So it's really terrific color. Like it? Yeah, I do. Is that the German? German greenish, I think is what, yeah, right. Yeah. You had it and it's, it's a really unique color. Um, this is the Italian this is the Italian burnt sienna. Italian burnt sienna. Yes, yeah, pretty. It's, it's a darker on the screen. It's actually a uh, on both screens. So this one might be a little bit hard for you to see. And that's because it is titanium white, <laughs> which, will be e which will be kind of interesting to um, ask Sanjay about tomorrow. Let's see. So there it is on white. And there it is on black. So there it is on white. And there it is on black. So titanium. So PW6. I thought it was interesting what Thomas was talking about um, watercolor being a subtractive medium, and it's how much of the white you actually take away 
it was interesting because that's the same thing that uh, Melinda was talking about, which is uh, for him is having the whole image in his mind. Christine Simmons. So that um, he knows where to leave the, uh, the white of the paper. So those are, those are Sanjay's codes. Would you like to see any of those um, mixed? John, do you have the rich green gold? I do have the rich green gold. In fact, you're correct. I left two off. I left off the Prussian blue and the rich green gold, which I will do. Thank you. So Carolyn says, put a white glaze line of the titanium white over all the colors so we can see how they... So you see how it creates a cloudy softening of each color. That's a good idea. So let me do that as well. And then I'll put the, uh, the last two. So we'll just do it right above the black line. That's with the heroin and violet and the titanium white. So the Chinese white and the titanium white, the Chinese white, they fall within really close of each other on the, um, on the chart when you chart off the sea lab colors. But it's said that the Chinese white is a warmer, um, a warmer white than the titanium. And I asked Ron, the chemist, senior chemist about that. He says, it's really the, it's, it's really the artist's choice as to which one they use um, because they are so very, very close. Okay, so the last two colors of Sanjay's are the rich green gold and the Prussian blue. I'm look at the spreadsheet and see which colors, leaving out the luminescence, hasn't been chosen as a Just dot card. So many of them have. So which ones are orphaned? Prussian blue and rich green gold. That's a vibrant gold. That's a really dark, beautiful blue. So that is Prussian blue. Prussian blue. Retreat gold. Are there any of those that you'd like to see mixed?
rich green gold mixed with wind burnt orange with extra water. Giovanni, did you do that? Oh, that's Emily. Really so, rich green gold. Invert orange. Have it here, John. Oh, do you? It's uh, dry from earlier this morning. Ethel, can you showcase uh, Gabriel's, please? It's uh, these two, one on top of the other, and switched. Very nice. Oh, it does come out really bright, doesn't it? So those are all of Sanjay's colors. Well, here they are drying over here. It's the second set we did. Gonna use it. Interesting to talk about that tomorrow. Yeah. Line. We have six of those in sticks of uh, his dot card. Yeah, have you used them? Uh, yeah, I have them right here. Ethel, can you flip it to Gabriel showing the sticks, please? Up a bit. What are those six that you have? Uh, they are Olives and Crimson. And then we have uh, the Quinn Burnt Orange. And then uh, I saw on his bio on the website, he also talked about Lunar Black. And uh, we have uh, the Rich Green Gold and uh, also the French Ultramarine and another fave, the Cobalt Blue. Yeah, well, how, do you, how do you use the Cobalt Blue? I see a lot of artists use that color. How do you, and it's a how do you use it? Personally, um, I like to mix things. I like to actually make a really nice neutral um, color. So I'll mix it with a burnt sienna. Uh, it makes a really nice cool side of a building or a cool side of a barn. Um, I can make a really nice sidewalk color uh, with uh, the cobalt blue. And uh, currently, I mean, my favorite is ultramarine. Um, there's also French ultramarine and ultramarine. So that one is always there. And so I always just have um, the sticks. So I have right here, the buff titanium and the uh, cobalt steel with my cobalt 
So these are just three little companions that I, I don't use them all the time, but uh, every now and then they're my go-tos to mix with something else. May I ask you a question? Yes. Have you ever used, or is it common to use the sticks with Yupo paper so that the sticks do not bruise? I have not used um, the sticks on Yupo yet. Mm -mm. But I, I do see that you can make a really good splattering uh, with using um, a brush um, here. This is just simply by using um, the, your brush and using the stick and dipping it both in water and just getting some really nice pure pigment. And I know a friend of mine uses, she'll take um, a spray bottle uh, for spraying onto Yupo. So a lot of what uh, Giovanni does is he'll take the stick in a small cup of water and then um, paint from there. And so, uh, yeah, I too would like to see uh, what it looks like on Yupo. But uh, on a rainy day, I'm not gonna do Yupo <laughs> out plein air painting. They were kind of neat on Yupo. You know, they, um, I did uh, probably five or six months ago, or maybe it could be even longer than that. Tried them out on Yupo. So I just have some colors I picked out. This is quinacridone pink. Sepia, Pompeii Red. Quinacridone Rose. This is Prussian Green. Barbara, I think you might have been talking about Prussian Green. Prussian Green and Terra Verde. Second. So these are not Sanjay's colors, these are just colors I just pick some um, at random. Do you have a Prussian blue nearby? Yeah, we just saw Prussian blue. This is going to be sepia. John, which is the first one? What color is the first one? This right here is quinacridone pink. Quinacridone uh -huh. pink. Okay, thank you. Sepia. This is Pompeii Red. Pompeii Red. This is Quinacridone, Quinacridone Red. Actually, this is Quinacridone Rose, which is PV19. Quinacridone Red, which is also PV19, but this is the Rose. So PV19. So pretty. This is going to be the Russian green. Russian green.
Gabriel, this is Prussian blue. So Prussian green, Prussian blue. Thank you. I wanted to see them next to each other. You want to mix them together? No, I want. I wanted to see them next to each other. Thank you. You're very welcome. And this is the Terra Verte. So just mix them, so I'm going to mix them. You're making it hard to pick out six colors, John. <laughs> Wow, that's so nice. Yeah, you and Giovanni do really nice ones. This is nice, you taught me how to do this. Can you just drop a little bit of orange into that? Absolutely. Any, any permanent orange or cat orange? What's your, what's your poison? John, what are the two here? Uh, Terra Verde and, and uh, Prussian, Prussian Blue? Prussian Green, Prussian Blue. Prussian ah, okay. Blue, okay. Uh, the Quint Burnt Orange would be great. Which right on top? Uh, kind of just tap the brush on your finger, like kind of splatter it on there. There you go. All right, perfect. Thank you. Besnick scans some ideas. <laughs> Beautiful, huh? I like it. It's Terra Verte. Okay, I'll do that. Terra Verte is such a Interesting color, yeah. So Anne says, I use print burnt orange instead of burnt sienna, lovely color. Looks like an eel, yeah, it does look like an eel. So there, let me try to do one thing here. There was a question about uh, the story of colors. And if you post, if you could post the six colors that you really like, I would love to, love to see those. Anna Marie did, thank you, Anna Marie. So,
Well, it's disabled, so I can't do that. Okay. John, can I get you to uh, do one other color? Yeah. Um, can we do that um, Italian? Uh, what was Bonte it? Sienna. The Italian burnt sienna. Yeah. And then splatter, splatter uh, some of the, uh, do you have lunar black nearby? I have ivory black, but not lunar black. Give me a second, I can probably find lunar black. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, Elisa, do you have anything to show? Oh my God. Beautiful. <laughs> um, so I have lunar blue, I have ivory black, um, neutral tint, just real quick. Any of those, Gabriel? Yeah, uh, we could do the bladder, some of the neutral tint on top of the uh, sí, Italian you know, uh, uh, so on top of, okay. Tinta neutral. Chin up on top of it. Yes, please. Going to wet it down. Thank you. Do you have that French ochre nearby? French ochre, I do. And then if you could just take the French ochre and just put a little dab on the paper. And then uh, add water to that on the paper. Neutral tint in my brush. Uh, a little more, a little more paint. Could we, could we start over and do it with the clean brush? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Pinchy brushes are really quick. They just they, they hold on to the paint. Okay, there we go. Just a little more paint. 
That's a that's a lot of water. Um And now, now can you take the neutral tint and just kind of do like a little like splatter? Uh, don't let the brush touch the paper, just kind of like sprinkle it into that. There you go, flicking. Oh yeah, right there. That's great. Not more than that? Oh, that's wonderful. I'm definitely going to have to get that tube now. Very cool. Well, I want to thank all of you for joining me today. Gabriel, thanks so much. Giovanni, Johnny, Elisa, Anna, Carol, Caroline. Thank you all. Oh, let me put this up so I can see you. So tomorrow, Sanjay will be um, the demonstrating artist. Very good artist. Does a lot of city skips, but does everything. Um, uh, great teacher. Um, it'll be interesting to ask him about the titanium white. And if you could post the six colors that you'd want to be on a deserted island with and paper and brushes, I think I'll put that together and we can, uh, we can play with those colors. So thank you all very much. Um, you make my day go by so quickly and so fantastic. I appreciate it. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, John. Bye. Thanks, John.